Every species of mammal practices being young. Running, crawling, jumping, climbing, bumping, pushing, pulling, and pouncing. These are necessary survival skills. And to these, human children must add another survival skill, imaginative play. They must practice pretending to be someone else in another place, making up character, plot, and dialogue for the stories they invent. They are, in truth, inventing abstract thinking, the act of stepping outside oneself and viewing a broader perspective of relationships, verbal, visual, social, physical, but they are also, it seems to me, inventing reading, writing, and arithmetic, all in an earlier, primitive form, in preparation for. They are inventing and reinventing themselves as thinking people, before the world tells them what to think. They do this as they literally play around with ideas. In effect, the child says, I am someone with ideas. I am someone who turns ideas into actions, and actions into new ideas. And furthermore, this is what I'm intended to do. I am intended to have my own ideas. That's why I play the way I do, to show myself what my ideas are and how necessary I am to the community. So I remind you of one thing, of what the most important aspect of this relationship is a new teacher and the children. And it doesn't have much to do with the curriculum. And it even goes beyond the love of my life play and story. You, one on one, can be kind to each child. You need no permission from anyone to look every child in the eye and make the child understand how you respect him and her and how you want to carry on this conversation and how much you love the child's play and talk and everything about the child how necessary the child is to you. You will never do a more important thing in your life. New teacher, old teacher, middle size. <laughs> this is the great gift we give to each child every day. And if you've come home and realized, I didn't talk to John the whole day, the next morning, John's the first one you talk to. Nothing replaces that, and any new teacher or student teacher can do it every single day. And you will commit the greatest act of kindness that is possible in the profession of teaching. <laughs>